Be placed and catch up with Dawn. Thanks very much, Russ. And yes, we are going to be showing you how to poach the perfect egg with our good friend Julian Bond. I'm ready to help here. Okay, crack me another egg, please. Okay. We need to put one more egg. Okay. You always crack an egg on a flat surface. I had no idea why. Don't crack it on the edge of a bowl or a pan because then there's more chance of you getting shell inside the egg. There you go. Lots to learn there, Jody. We are going to be more here with Julian Bond as we get ready for Eat Vancouver. How's that, Julian? Perfect. Look at that. Look at that. And the perfect manicure there. Nicely done, Don. Eat Vancouver is <laughs> making us all hungry. Uh, and we got some serious royal trivia, Kyle's. Eat Vancouver on a BC Play Stadium. That's where we find our Don Chubay. What's going on there? That's right. Eat Vancouver kicks off today and goes until the third here at BC Play Stadium. You know, you got to start your day with a little breakfast. And we've got our good friend Julian Bond here. Before the break, we put our poached eggs into vinegared water, correct? Very vinegared water. There's a lot of vinegar in there, which tastes nasty. Yes, it, it can taste nasty. I always just thought that was the normal flavor of a poached no, egg. No, you shouldn't. And the reason we put a lot of vinegar in, so when you drop the egg, yep. it almost automatically starts to coagulate and come together. So you get a beautiful poached egg. But people shouldn't poach their eggs to order. Okay. You see my egg? It's still raw. Yes. Uh, but it's come together really nicely and held its shape. Then I'm going to put in ice water or okay. cold water. And there it can sit overnight even. So you can do this on Saturday night. That's a great you've got idea. A big brunch for 12, 14 people. And the idea is to what? Stop the cooking? Stop the cooking. Okay. And we've got the acidulation. We've got the shape. Look at that beautiful, 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 beautiful shape of an egg. It's going to sit really nicely. Now. I'd probably crack that yolk, but so anyway. We heat it. <laughs> well, I'll say it. So this is the vinegar that we used okay. in there. Yes. Now we're going to get rid of the vinegar and replace it with. No vinegar. Wine. I like replacing so things with wine. So now you put wine in there. Put some wine in. Just a little bit or? Uh, it's Sunday morning. Morning. Who cares? I won't drink it. I'm Beautiful. just kidding. But you know, a little for you, a little for me, right? A little tea bag. <laughs> okay, I'm putting tea in, in yeah, the so water. This is like just an empty tea bag, but instead of filled with tea, we filled it with a bay leaf, we filled it with peppercorns, some okay. thyme. Nice. Oh, I'll leave it in the tea bag. Oh, gosh, there we go. <laughs> I messed it up. The, I got the 15 second count, so let's pretend I left in the tea bag. We got to get this and going that way, here, Julian. If we leave it in the tea bag, the cool thing is. <laughs> You're a good instructor. You just, I just didn't listen very exactly. well to my instructor. And then you put egg. I just brought it get a little bit myself. You put that back in there, and that reheats with those beautiful flavors of the wine. The aromatics, and it's going to taste awesome. Now, let's get that ready to go right now. Beautiful. We're going to finish our toast. breakfast. Mm -hmm. Yes, so we're going to put duck confit. Yes. Gorgeous little duck confit. It's fatty, it's cooked in duck fat. It's really delicious. You're going to take that gorgeous egg for me. I'm going with the egg right it now. It should be nice and hot. It is nice and hot, and it's got an extra little, extra little something on a there. Little, extra I little think something. it kind of looks nice. You, you know, know, it looks really good. There and we go. Throw that on top. Oh, look how beautiful that looks. It's oh, okay, for first one. It's okay. Excellent. We'll there you go. Back at the station, our good friend Julian Point. I'm just tearing this place apart. We're here at Eat Vancouver. Kicks off today. Goes until the third. Beautiful breakfast, courtesy awesome. of our good friend Julian Bond. Look at that. I think that's outstanding. Nicely done, Don. And I had no <laughs> idea. So many of us here were like, what? You can poach an egg and then keep it in cold water overnight? That's very cool. It is 6.46. Oh, Dawn. Hey, good morning, Russ. We are here at Eat Vancouver. From the first to the third here at BC Place. Hold on, careful with that knife. Yeah, David absolutely. Rocco yeah. is here. Dolce Vita, nice to see good you. Morning. Good to be here. Well, you know, coming up in three minutes, we're going to be making a dish. What are we going to be making? We're make a Tuscan panzanella. Can you say that? Tuscan panzanella. Like you know, <laughs> sounds very Italian, but we're kind of going the British mode coming up oh, a little bit we? later. So, um, Jody, I know we're doing something very special at the station. I was going to put this on Thanks you. Not my color. It, it doesn't work for him, but Jody. What do you think? Does this work? That lovely. is fabulous. You think that's lovely? You look royalty. Hold on, let's quote royalty. that again. Love, I, lovely. He says I look like royalty. <laughs> you do look like royalty. <laughs> and that is a beautiful, one-of-a-kind piece of art that Dawn's wearing right there from Easter. All of our fascinators from Lord's Shoes on South Granville. So cute. We're actually giving one of this one in particular away. Right, Canada hats. I'll explain more. And Thor's going to be here to drop the hammers on the movies coming up after the break. Uh, Snow Fest. Thank you for joining us. Uh, lots of great tips coming from the Eat Vancouver uh, live eye this morning. Let's check in with Dawn and find out what she's up to now. Yes, and we are here at Eat Vancouver, which, by the way, kicks off on the first, goes until the third, and one of the, I don't want to say presenters, one of the presenting chefs, the educational chefs, David Rocco, he called me royalty now, earlier. Now you're, now you're sucking up to me. See, I know, <laughs> I love it. Well, I love it because you bring us food. What food. are you making right now? Panzanella. Panzanella, that's it's a right. Tuscan bread salad, and uh, it's using day old bread, or actually bread that's maybe two, three, four days old. Wouldn't I, why wouldn't I want to use fresh bread? Well, because this is kind of like a, a throwback to what the Tuscan farmer did. So it's stale bread, and what you do, and actually, this is not too stale. You put in a, a little bit of water. So just to reconstitute it a bit. 
and then you're going to throw it back in and this is like the base of your salad okay and so now i'm gonna you can throw those i can throw a couple in yeah. there and these are just little cherry tomatoes if little i didn't have cherry tomatoes could i use something big, else could I use yep. heirloom? field tomatoes any tomatoes you want and what's great about this is it's healthy even though you're having bread i mean it's uh well look how beautiful this it bread is. is it's a dense bread it's and that's a dense key, bread right? yeah you don't want to use like day old wonder bread or toast bread yes <laughs> okay so, so we got our tomatoes in there that in got about 40 seconds you can rip that okay, up i'll do that see this is the nice thing about this you know this is a a minute and a half to two minute segment and we're making this live on Absolutely. air this is something someone can make up all of a sudden yep. someone says i'm bringing someone for dinner a little twist i'm putting in some rocket do it Rupa. no problem right that's it and it's you know you don't throw anything out as the good Tuscan farmer says. And then a traditional dressing is yes. just really oil and vinegar, correct? Absolutely. So we'll sprinkle a bit of Can that. Can I do in. a little bit yes, of this? Yes, go a little. Is that enough? A little more. Is That's it? Do it. you really kind of do it to taste? I do everything okay. by the eye. Can I have that plate now? Yes, I'm going to pass this I off again. If you want to catch David Rocco here at Eat Vancouver, you're uh, here, I believe, uh, the next few days. Anyways, each day. Till Sunday. Till Sunday. And you can check out the schedule for more details. But uh, back at the station, as simple as something like this, you can look like a gourmet. And I have to say, I had my in-laws for dinner uh, a couple of weeks ago, and I made your bolognese sauce, and it was oh, you're a sweetheart. perfect. Thank now you very I can much. Make the panzanella. There you go. You can make the panzanella. Mm. Mm. Don, mm. it is a good day to be you this morning. <laughs> I was lucky to be me, yes. Breakfast with champions, <laughs> right. All right, Don Chube, live at BC Place. Thank you, Don. Let's take a look at our top. Going to be at it again, cooking up a storm with the head man, Chef Brian from the Global Group, Christine Time at Eat Vancouver. You're watching Breakfast Television on City TV. Eat Vancouver, BC Play Stadium, and Don. <laughs> yes, <laughs> let's see. We are here at Eat Vancouver, which, by the way, kicks off today, goes until the 3rd. We've got corporate chef for the Global Group, Ryan Gauthier here, and uh, cutting bread. I can master <laughs> that, but a lot of people get really intimidated when it comes to uh, really gourmet appetizers, and that's what we're making right now. Yeah, this is something we do in the restaurant, and as well, it can be done at home very easily. I mean, summer's coming up, so quick, easy appetizer at home, a canopy, if you will. Cool. So we've got the bread. So we've got the breads. So we're just going to dip it in this nice little olive oil, garlic, and... Uh, parsley. Oh, that sounds and good. And then we're just going to lightly toast in a in a warm oiled pan. See, a lot of people get intimidated by the toasting yeah, of the I bread know. unless you sit there and can pop it down with a, you know, with a lever <laughs> a or toaster something. Or <laughs> you could actually do this under a broiler at home in the in the oven as well. Just got to keep an eye on it though. But you keep an eye on Definitely. it. So this is the my favorite way of doing it because you get this beautiful uh, color on it and it, it, it essentially cooks evenly, right? Beautiful. Well, I'll keep watching this. Let's start making our crostini. You've got three different varieties yes. of something people can do easily at home so obviously every, every, every all of them are made with burrata and what's burrata burrata cheese okay. is uh, originally from Apulia which is the heel of the boot in Italy and it's the best cheese in the world it's uh, it's creamy it's uh, it's got the cheese curds in it and it's just lovely and a I mean, perfect combination uh, in addition to the burrata is the melon and melon and prosciutto that's right you can't go wrong so I mean you can't go wrong with any burrata but Melon prosciutto and burrata, I mean, come Perfect. on. Perfect. So we got about 30 seconds left, Ryan. So we'll finish up that one. What other kinds of varieties uh, do we actually have as well? So we have the uh, burrata pancetta. Okay. And that's going to be served with some pine nuts and pesto. We have our uh, marinated eggplant, which is uh, marinated, pickled with uh, some roasted peppers, some shaved garlic. And then we have... Uh, and essentially all you're doing is assembling. We're just assembling. There you go. It makes so it easy at home. You just have your mise en place ready to go, and you're ready for your party at home or at the restaurant. There you go. Ryan helping us get ready for some easy entertaining, perhaps a little summer entertaining there back at the station on a patio. I can imagine that. You can catch Ryan in his cooking demonstrations here at Eat Vancouver. For more details on schedules, you can go to eat-vancouver.com. Thanks, Ryan. Thank you. Salivating, Dawn. We're salivating here. That prosciutto with burrata, come on. If you've never tried the burrata cheese, try it. Go to any of the Global Group restaurants. Delicious. All right, we're going to take a quick break, compose ourselves, get ready for food in the next hour here in studio at 744. Your news is next. Back down at Eat Vancouver. I'm going to serenade uh, Rob, Rob Feeney right now. Bechamel, <laughs> bechamel mucho. Cheesy, I know, but you do have beige in there. I, I stumped you. Rob you Feeney, by the way, uh, executive chef, Cactus Club. You're here at Eat Vancouver, which kicks off today, goes until the 3rd. Uh, what do we have in there? 
Bechamel. <laughs> no, we have a little. Uh, this is a. Uh, this is something I've been. I've done. It's my famous or semi semi famous mac and cheese. So obviously mac and cheese. We need a little bit of cream. So this is. Uh, there's some shallots in here. I have some bacon. I have a little bit of cream, and then I've made something like bechamel. Bechamel is essentially, you know, milk uh, with a little bit of nutmeg, usually some thyme and bay leaf, and you thicken it. It's usually thickened with. In France, we, France we call it. Uh, I use bermonte, which is basically uh, butter and flour combined. But you can use a roux, like a cooked roux, right? To, to thicken it, or I mean, some people even use cornstarch. That's right. I mean, this is one of those things. I always, I like making this recipe, and I'm doing this tonight at e uh, tonight at eat, and I'm doing it uh, tomorrow as well. Because uh, at the end of the day, what's great about this is this is, if you remember, you know, home economics. I remember home economics in Burnaby in grade eight, it was or nine. It was one of the first things they teach you to make, right? So I thought, why not show something a little that everyone knows how to make, but add a, add a little more pizzazz. A little something extra, which is what you typically do, yeah. Rob. Fee. So this is cavatappi, and cavatappi is a noodle that has a little bit more. Uh, it's got a bit of a ring on it, so it's like macaroni, but it's a little bit better. But you can use plain macaroni if you don't have it. We're obviously going to throw in. Let's put in all that cheese. Yes, let's put it. Let's all put in. in all this cheddar. This and is not a low-fat dish no. by any means. And this it's is meant to be enjoyed. And this is the secret ingredient, or the lobster. Oh. Okay, so. <laughs> oh, that looks good. So this is this is what's fun about this is that with mixing this now because we're going to bake this, is all we're going to do is just combine all the lobster, and I'm going to throw this into my little con little container here. And then how long would you bake that for? This can this bakes for about uh, I, I would leave it for a good 15, 20 minutes. If you want, I can bake it plain like this. Right? So you put it in the oven like this, put this for about 15 minutes at about 350. If you want to add a little bit more breadcrumbs, because people like breadcrumbs, you can do that. If you wanted to add a little bit more Parmesan cheese on the top. I mean, at this point, calories, I wouldn't even think about it. I'm not thinking so about it. So you have to just keep adding. There you go. This is what it looks like. Rob Feeney going to be here again at Eat Vancouver all weekend long. Jody, the, uh, the Iron Chef competition with Rob, of course, Bob Bloomer and David Rocco is actually at uh, 2.30. So uh, for more details, you can go to their website, but we're not worrying about calories at all. Thanks no. to Rob Feeney. Have a great weekend everybody there are no there are no calories when you're standing next to the chef who made it get that in there don't you may hold on that camera stay on that camera do not let her off the hook <laughs> and dirk van reness is saying just bring the rest in just bring the rest in i love that can we take down the camera again no okay of course not we have to talk medicine